Public transit is the subject of today's episode. We're going to add a monorail, a tram line, and a couple bus lines across town. In today's episode, we're going to build a couple transportation lines. Public transportation for the masses. Get them out of their cars. We're going to do a couple lines. We're going to do a line here, up and down this commercial area, and a line here, up and down this commercial area, and all through this area. Real quick, I want to give a shout out to Flying Horizon 24. He suggested in the comments that we name our little farmland over here, Bluebird Pastures, which as you can see, we have done. Thank you very much for the suggestion, and ladies and gentlemen, feel free to name anything in the comments below. Now, we're gonna build a monorail line. We're gonna build three different public transportation options, two of which are standard gameplay. We're going to build a monorail line up and down here and we're going to expand this whole little area over here and we are going to start incorporating our office zones to give our highly educated citizens places to work. We've had this university up for a little while now. Now off camera we have upgraded our K walls all around the city here. Uh, as you can see we need to do a little bit of landscape work with uh, terraforming to get that off, but you can see we've upgraded, move that tree, we've upgraded all of this to a walkable path so everyone can walk around. And we have also added little sidewalks for people to get down. But all of this surrounding K wall now around the city is walkable. Uh, more public transportation. So let's get right into today's episode. We're gonna start the episode by adding a little bit of road up here. And with this little bit of road that we've added, we're going to add our tram line. Now we are going to destroy a business here, unfortunately, but we're gonna add the tram station, and that tram station is going to be right next to the highway. We're going to go ahead and add real quick a couple trees just to beautify this. And then we can go ahead and add a few like this, just to kind of hide it, and a couple over here. Now. That looks much better already. Uh, just off the highway, we've got our tram station. Now we're not going to use this line yet. However, we will eventually. And we're going to remove a little bit more of this industry over here. We're gonna remove this whole section right off the highway. Uh, we do want to eventually remove all of that industry, but we need to provide jobs for our citizens. So back to our public transportation. We are going to upgrade this entire road here as a tram line. Now, tram lines are part of the Snowfall DLC. If you don't have that DLC, I wouldn't necessarily say you should buy it for the Snowfall aspect, because I hardly ever play Snowfall, uh, but the tram line, absolutely. Now, oh, now they do have a trolley bus line, which is part of the, what is it? Sunset Harbor DLC, which works pretty much the same. Uh, it has an electric line above it that, that runs for the trolley. However, it drives on the road where the tram line has its own separate lane. Uh, so we're also going to add a little bit of a loop back here. Oh, sorry, that's the trolley bus. We're also going to add a little bit of a loop back here for this thing to turn around and get back up to the top here. Now, once we've removed all of this industry here, this will continue up here and we will continue the commercial zone a little bit further, but for right now that'll work. So we can go ahead and start with our line. All right, so we're going to create our first line. Now we've got a turnaround loop up here that we've added and we've got a turnaround loop down here. So we're going to add just a simple one line that runs up and down the street. So we're gonna have it come right out of the tram depot here and stop. And then we're going to have it stop before the intersection to give traffic a little bit of a break. We'll do the same thing down here at this intersection. We'll do the same thing here at this intersection. And all of this is operating on the left-hand side of the road. We will add a stop over here on the left-hand side of the road and a stop down here on the left-hand side of the road. And then the line can come back. Uh, we'll do a little less frequency. We'll do one on the opposite side and we'll do one down here and then complete the line. So there is our first line, the green line, and that will probably, that will be our only line. So we'll just have trams run up and down that all day long. That's all it's going to do. Uh, we will then add some bus lanes. Now, sorry, bus lanes, not, uh, not, we're going to add some bus stops, not bus lanes. Uh, so this is the standard bus depot. This comes with the original game. I am going to use the eco bus, the, sorry, the biofuel uh, bus depot. This is part of the Green Cities DLC. 
uh, because it's a little bit better for the environment. It uses biofuel instead. Now to add our bus depot, we're going to go ahead and come off the back of this road over here. And this will kind of be a little less uh, used area. No one's going to stop here anyway. So this is going to be our bus depot, biofuel bus depot. So we've established our bus lines. They are the two green lines here. Now they run quite a bit around the uh, residential area. We will add probably another line in the north and another line in the south down here. Uh, for right now, this whole area does not have public transit, but they should be fine. Uh, so we've got a little bit of a loop here running around a residential area. It's got a couple stops on the back side and the front side for the residents. Uh, it's got a stop here by the park and a stop here right across from this tram stop. So that connects, you know, people will walk right across there to get onto the, the, the bus. The bus also runs across the highway real quick and it's going to lead to our new commercial, uh, sorry, our um, office space area over in these two tiles here. And this one loops around this side and comes back. And this one up here, this other line loops around this little bit of residential area as again, uh, stop by the park. Uh, close to the cemetery, uh, there's the high school right there. It's got a stop there. We should have a high, stop at the high school. Um, there we go. We should have a stop at the high school. Now, uh, so it's got a few stops around the residential area, stop at the high school. It runs across over here. It stops between Emerson Square uh, here at the high density residential. And it stops over here by the farmland bluebird pastures. Um, area so that people can get off and go to work. It also circles back around and then comes down through here. And so we added a stop over on the water as well. So we've got two green lines. These are our bus lines and we've got a tram line running straight up and down here. Uh, now we're going to tackle the next project which is going to be a lot of fun and that is a monorail. Now monorails are kind of specifically for relatively shorter distances. Uh, they run pretty much in a straight line up and down, back and forth. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and add here. We're gonna add a monorail down here at this end. Now monorails are a little bit noisier, but hey, it is what it is. The trams are pretty quiet. Uh, again, if you don't have the Snowfalls DLC, go ahead and buy that. And that should line up perfect. Yeah, you can see a few people are upset about that. The monorail stations are quite loud but they are just going to have to deal with that because that is the public transit that we want to add to this city. So we're going to go ahead and add that there and then we're going to just upgrade the rest of this all the way down. And this is going to run straight through. Uh, we need to add another stop over here. And this is where we'll go ahead and delete this section of road. And let's go ahead and add this here. And then we can continue. You can see more people upset, but hey, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, now, to connect over here, we can upgrade this, upgrade that, and upgrade that. And to connect over here, we can just run straight across the, uh, oh, auto save. We can just run straight across the roundabout here. And that kind of makes it look pretty cool, actually. Imagine driving into the city and seeing a monorail go over the roundabout. Uh, so that was kind of, you know, the intentions. Uh, and we have another roundabout over here. I thought this would look kind of cool, driving over the roundabouts. We did destroy that line. Uh, now for down here, we're going to go with the station that is just on the side. And we'll go ahead and add that there. You can see they're unhappy, but it will bring them business. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and... Can we just go straight here? I think we can. That's fine. That works. Yeah, I like that. Uh, so that is our monorail. We've got three spots right now, three stops right now. So we've got a line, a stop, a stop, a stop, and a line. That's it. There's our line. It's going to stop three times uh, for right now. Um, and actually, we're going to add another line. Uh, yeah, we need one right here. So let's go ahead and add another terminal. Terminal. Um, we're going to add another... Um, can we come off a little? No. Let's go ahead and do that. And that will give us more of a... Uh, more access for people to come over to the industrial area. That looks a little wonky, to steal a phrase. 
Um, let's go ahead and try and reconnect this. And actually, let's go ahead and relocate this. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. It's kind of sunken into the ground. I don't really like that, but I think that looks a little bit better. That'll work nonetheless. Stops, maybe one more stop uh, over there, but the, really that's, that's probably about it. Uh, monorails aren't necessarily that long. They just kind of run straight through major parts of the city. Uh, mostly they're more for downtown areas. We don't necessarily need these yet. Uh, however, they are part of the standard gameplay DLC. And actually, we can just go ahead and delete that now. Uh, they're part of the standard gameplay that comes. Uh, so I wanted to cover them because I know a lot of do, I do a lot of stuff that are just DLCs. And uh, a lot of you don't have all the DLCs. Uh, so we've got a tram, which is part of the Snowfall DLC. We've got just a standard bus line, which are upgraded because of the Green Cities DLC, um, and the monorail. So we can go ahead and hit play here. We did do a little bit of landscaping work over here, so I'm worried about the water. But we'll go ahead and hit play, bumped up to three times speed, and we will watch our wonderful city at work with our new infrastructure for public transit. And there is our monorail heading out and back in. Now it'll take a little while for people to start using this, but I think this is a nice effective little way and what we need to do is bring people to want to come over here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and add all of our office zones over here. So this is supplying jobs for everyone. We'll go ahead and select off this. Um, actually, we'll wait on that. I don't know what I want to do with the water line over there quite yet, but we'll go ahead and fill this off. And I'd say probably fill this off too. Yeah. So all of this is going to be office buildings. We'll go ahead and select uh, maybe just a little bit at the end here. And as you can see, we've got quite a bustling little area. We've got a few things already building. This will supply jobs for the educated people. Uh, this will give purpose to our monorail station. You can see they're already complaining about the noise. Unfortunately, not much we can do about that right there, actually. Um, we could probably delete those buildings uh, would be the best way. But we can go ahead and take a look at this. 70 passengers serviced last week. 34 passengers serviced. 30 and 66. So as you can see, we probably don't need both of these stops here in the middle uh, as of yet, but I think eventually we will. And we've got bus lines bringing people over. So let's go ahead and hit pause. Only six passengers on that bus. Unfortunately, you can see though, there's a stop in the middle of nowhere. Nothing is built here yet. So uh, eventually when things do build, it will all pick up and take care of itself. Let's go ahead and take pause over here. Uh, seven passengers, but that should work itself out in the long term and everything should be fine. Let's go ahead and take a look at our tram 21 out of 90 90 out of 90. There we go. Let's go ahead and follow this guy 90 out of 90. That is awesome and down to 85 uh, So we've got a nice tram line. We've got a nice public transit system set up here. Uh, we do have water problems, and I'm going to go ahead and just bump up the budget. Now, I know what that is, what the problem is, and it's that we never added the second inlet station. However, I want to put that underwater like we did with this one in the last episode, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, please go back and check it out. Uh, but that is a canal underwater with our sewage stations, and we're going to put another canal just north of it. Uh, just up water, up river from it uh, for our pumping stations, but we need to add another one. So that should have taken care of that problem, and it did indeed. Now back to our public transit. Everything's looking fine. Everything's humming along smoothly. Uh, now we were at 90% for traffic flow before we started this public transit edition, and we're still at 90, but we're at 89 now. Um, and that is the problem with some of the trams and some of the buses. Trams, buses, uh, trolley buses, things like that, that take up a lane on the road, they're, they're adding more problems to your road. Uh, another good solution, instead of having this monorail here, it would be a subway line. And subway lines are kind of the same. They just run kind of a straight line. Uh, you don't necessarily have so much looping with a subway line. They run people one down to one direction and then up to the other. Let's go ahead and pause. Take a look at this. Uh, 16. Only 16 out of 180. So it will take a little while for this monorail to become a successful monorail. And I don't like the way that is. We might change and terraform a little bit more over here. 
uh, but it'll be okay for now. Uh, it might take a little while for this monorail station to become successful. Only 58 service last week. Uh, but we've got the infrastructure for it, I believe. We've got a lot of high-density residential here, and they need to get up to their new job in these office buildings right here. And that should work fine. That should help people. Uh, so the monorail station is going fine, the tram station is going fine, and the buses seem to be going fine. Now, the other addition that I want to do down in these areas that don't have bus lines or other transportation lines is add bicycle lanes. Put bicycle lanes everywhere in your city. Give people the option to bike around. You can see this entire little district down here has bike lanes everywhere. And let's go ahead and take a look. How many? There's a bicyclist and a dog. Any other cyclist? There's one. There's two. You can see people use the cycle lanes. Um, there's three. Uh, a lot of people will just cycle around the city if they have that option, and whenever you add some public transit, then people don't necessarily need to get across these roads so much. Uh, now, we do have a lot of problem down here because of this industrial area. We can go ahead and delete a little bit more of that, and let's go ahead and use the fill tool and remove this entire back area and this entire back area. Now we're down to just this little two squares here, and eventually we should be able to get rid of those. We are losing population right now, but that's okay. Uh, we will we will grow eventually, don't worry. Uh, we need to do a lot of work on our fair city, however I wanted to get a video out to you. Um, public transportation is probably the most important thing to the city. As you can see, water pipes are also very, very important to your city. Uh, public transportation is very important to the city. Uh, it's it's key for growth because especially, like we don't necessarily need to add all these yet, um, but eventually we will, and I think all these being kind of higher buildings, I think this will take off pretty quickly and be needed. Uh, but we didn't necessarily need to add all of this public transit yet. We had 90% traffic flow. We were doing all right. It, this is more for whenever you get to downtown areas. You really got to have very efficient public transportation. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at our... 15 buses in use, and let's go ahead and take a quick look at our info views, and we will go to our transportation services. So if you click on the transportation, you can see 169 citizens uh, took the bus last week, and 84 took the tra tram, uh, and 83 took the monorail. That's 336 people serviced last week. None of them are tourists because we have yet to add a train station, and that's the next thing that we need to do. Uh, I'm not keeping that part of this episode. That will be part of its the next episode, which will be just a play-along uh, Let's Build series. Now, if you go to your traffic routes, you can toggle the traffic routes. You can actually pick the specific areas in which that you want to check out and find out pedestrians are green, Cyclists are in the kind of teal color. You can see they're cycling from up there. Uh, a lot of these are bicycle roads. Uh, private vehicles, public transit, and cargo is in pink. Trucks are in yellow. You can see where the trucks are going. And city service vehicles. So this is our road network. You can see we're not connected down here. Oh, but people are walking and... Oh, look at that. There we go. Now that helps a lot. So making that into a walkway, now everyone is walking across there. You can see we need to fix a little bit more. A lot of people are using this to walk around the city. That's fantastic. But the most important thing is a whole bunch of people are using it to cross from one neighborhood to the other. That's great. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about all these buildings next to this, but hopefully they'll be all right. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining the episode. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, this has been a public transit episode. This is episode number five, I believe, on this series. This is our 2022 Blackwoods map build. And as you can see, we've got a long way to go. Uh, let's go ahead and hit down, bump this down to one time speed. Take a quick look around our city again. See our progress. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us here at CCSC. Uh, we'll see you next time.